So this is a very sad video that I'm going to share. It is just happening now. And, um, you know, no comments, please, on the grief that these people go through and they feel like they need to communicate with the dead and reach out to somebody. Let's, let me just share with you what's going on. And, and you can see the psychology of this. Now, what I've been... I guess, specializing in more lately, in the last uh, few months, last year is what's going on in private areas, you know, where 10, 20 people are gathered and they're having um, a reading or even maybe one or two people. Because I think that what happens in those situations is completely different than what you would see on a Tyler Henry, uh, Teresa Caputo, John Edward kind of situation, which is usually much more much more um, edited it's it's more flippant um but um i'm i'm very interested in the psychology of what's going on with mediumship okay so i belong to a group on facebook i belong to a lot of groups on facebook and i noticed a conversation coming through and let me pull up the image now i've blurred the names out and i've blurred out the um, images i mean you'll still sort of see them but for the most part, it should be, you know, not super clear. Let me make this nice and large so you can see this. So this is just happening right, right now. And people are commenting and grief is a real booger. You know, it's a, it's really a bad thing. And heck, I know um, my, my partner, longtime partner died. Tomorrow will be a month. And so it is hard and you have your good moments and you have your bad moments um and it is what it is okay so here is this woman her name is jen so she posted this on this mediumship group that i'm in and there's about 3500 people in there and they all seem to be mostly women and what they do is they post things saying here's a picture of my mom my dad my brother my sister Whoever, can you get something? And supposedly the mediums in this group are all vetted. And they're all no-name people. They're just, just people who think they're mediums, okay? And they're supposedly vetted, so they're not supposed to prey on you, whatever. So this is a woman who's just posted this saying, I need to know as a first bride without my mom at 45, which dress is better? So she's 45 years old. Can anyone tell me which one she likes? Please, I'm begging with three exclamation points. I need help, please. I'm going on Alaskan cruise elo elopement. So we talk a lot about how, how people are um, in grief and how hard it is on them. Um, uh, they're lonely. They feel isolated. Um, they, they've lost a lot of connection with their, you know, their routine and so on. And this woman is reaching out to people on this Facebook group that supposedly has mediums in it. And it's pretty much all women. What she wants, she's posting these pictures and she wants them to tell her what her mom, which dress her mom likes. Her mom is dead. So um, the people are responding. And I don't know if I need to show you the screen shares because... I mean, it's there, but people are responding. Some of them are responding just like their opinion. Well, you assume it's their opinion. And others are responding as if they're communicating with mom and who's telling them which dress they like. So one says definitely the second one. Um, another woman, she says the second one, but your mom just wants you to feel beautiful and happy. So she knows it's your choice. In other words, no choice. I mean, I'm not going to tell you what mom really says because mom doesn't care. So this woman who posted 24 minutes after the original post says that mom wants the second one, but she wants you to be happy. And then let's see what else other people say. Um, okay, hold on, not that one. Some of them, you know how it is with Facebook comments, you screen share them and then sometimes they overlap with each other and you end up getting the the next one. 
This one says, I vote the second one. You look beautiful and please know your mother is with you every step of the way. Just trust that voice in your head and heart. She will guide you. Hugs and kisses. So it just sounds like, you know, something somebody would say, your friend would say to you. I mean, okay. And then she says, it's really hard to do this without her. And she says, I'm broken and I don't even want to go through this without her. Oops, I clicked before looking at the last one. And then another woman says, you only feel like it's without her. Please believe me, she is more with you now than she was able to be with you when she was physically there. Embrace the new relationship and speak to her often. Hugs and kisses. I think mom says the second one. And somebody else says, since we're all saying the second one, I bet it's your mom working through all of us. Okay, and then another woman shares her grief and she says, both look beautiful, but the second dress reminds me of my dress. And my mom picked out the dress with me. It was the last day we spent together as she passed away a week later on Easter Sunday. Picking out my dress was the last memory and day we spent together. It was also around my birthday and we celebrated that night. For some reason, I hugged her twice at night before leaving. And the second being long and tight, it was heartbreaking not having her at my wedding. But I know she was shining down and admiring my beautiful dress and how happy I was. The second dress with the corset back and the strapless front and the beautiful detail is so similar. Congratulations on your wedding. Your mom is so proud. Um, another woman says, um, yes, it ha it's been a hard year is what I'm hearing. But you got this. Enjoy the cruise. Enjoy the love you share with your hubby. You deserve it. So those are some of the comments that are coming through right now. And the, the, I mean, it's, I think it's up to 44 comments. And I was only looking for maybe, it's only been up like 30 minutes or something like that. So I just want to show you how how this world of grief is so painful that you would reach out to total strangers to tell you show pictures of yourself in a dress that you want to wear for your elopement on a cruise and say which one is my mom who is dead telling you she likes better and that's obviously very different from i wish my mom was here and which do you think she would like better or which do you think it looks better on me or whatever? And it's just heartbreaking. Really, it is. Um, I feel I feel for this woman who doesn't have the friendships, I guess, in her life that she would be able to post this on her own Facebook page or Instagram or, or where, wherever and get comments from her friends and family and ask, what do you think mom would like? Or what do you think my mom would like? That she has to go to these other people who are saying, yes, I'm hearing from her mom. And she is saying, number two, get the second dress. Or Now, I get it whenever they say, your mom is shining down watching you. And she's going to, she's blessing you. And she's, she's, she's happy for you. I get that they're trying to make her happy. I get that they're trying to um, elicit these feelings so that the woman who's getting married feels like she's really, um, you know, make her happy. But I can't ignore the fact that if somebody is saying, I'm in contact with my mother, your mother, and she's telling you how happy she is for you and how blessed she is and how she'll be watching out for you. We don't know all marriages go well. We don't know that, um, it's a great idea she's marrying this person. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I'm sure she's very happy at the moment. But this woman who's getting married may end up staying in a relationship longer than she should because she feels that people told her that her mom was sanctu sanctuing the, the, the relationship, that her mom thought it was a great idea. She may ignore behaviors that aren't healthy for her relationship because she believes that psychics had talked to her mother 
and that mom said it was okay. So, like I said, we don't know if it's a healthy relationship that she's getting into, that she's getting married. We we don't know if um, what the future is going to be for her and her spouse. We don't know if she's the best person for this for the man she's marrying, or if the man is the best person you know for her. Uh, we don't know if there's abuse. We don't know. Um, we don't know. So we'd like to think that it's going to be a fairy tale, you know, Cinderella and, and she will be swept off her feet and, and live happily ever after and have lots of babies and have, you know, um, grandchildren and a blessed life and rainbows follow her every day. I mean, we'd like to think that, but when you get to a point where you are, you're making decisions um, based on this fake belief in in this this belief that um you know somebody somewhere out there has more knowledge than you and is giving you this knowledge and flippantly i mean minutes after you post it they don't know who you are maybe it would be better if you talk to your friends and your family who know you and know this man that you're marrying and i know it is a man because i've seen the pictures and they would be able to give you a better idea if they thought you were compatible and a better support and better advice. And, and at least it wouldn't be like a fairy tale. You know, I see that it's all going to be wonderful and, and kittens and puppies for the rest of your life and make sure you, you guys are going to love each other for forever and ever. When she comes down to, like I say, when, when he cheats on her with it, her best friend and she's like, uh, I wonder if I should get out of this relationship. No, I probably shouldn't because, you know, they saw us being together forever and ever. Or, you know, when he backhands her and it, should she get out of the relationship? No, no. Mom said this is you guys were going to be love in love forever and ever. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Susan again is going to the extremes, but I'm saying the relationships don't always last. What is it? 50% of the divorce rate. And, and we shouldn't, I, I hope that people are adults and don't get into relationships with a pretend, with this pretend kind of world. Anyway, my heart goes out to her. You know, losing your losing your mom at a very important time, this time that she feels is very important to her, is a horrible, sad moment. Uh, she at least she said she had tried on dresses with her mom before. You know, four years of before, on a whim, they'd gone in and tried on some dresses. And I hope she has those memories. Another woman said the same thing that her mom had and her had tried on dresses together, and it meant a lot to her. Hold on to those memories. Hopefully they take photos at the time. Hold on to those memories, but don't pretend. Well, don't assume that just because it makes you feel good in that moment, that somehow this is actually helpful in the long run. As if you have some special knowledge. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, it's very sad to me. We see this kind of stuff all the time where they're, they give their control over to somebody else, their decision-making to somebody else who they assume knows better than they do. Okay, comment. You know, you can say I'm such a, 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 a Susan Downer. Again, no parties for me. And um, like, share, comment. I appreciate your feedback. Thank you, guys.